Hi friends, welcome back to Love Good Kitchen. My name is Matthew, or welcome if this is your first time joining us. Today, I am excited to share with you something a little different. We're not doing a recipe, we're not doing food prep. Today, I wanna take you on a little tour of my vintage Pyrex collection. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It does help us out and I appreciate that very much. So hit the little bell icon, but I appreciate that as well because that also helps out our little YouTube channel. So, um, and I do have some notes here that I will uh, glance at and refer to. Um, I have a couple of books about Pyrex. This one is a collector's guide and um, it's really interesting, and especially for um, some of the pieces that are more rare, hard to find. They have photos in here. This particular one does have a, a price guide, so it gives you an idea on what you could expect to pay for some pieces, or um, if you were looking to sell some, what that would be as well. However, this um, price guide is via 20 years ago. So some of the prices no longer pertain, um, but some of them I happen to know myself from either visiting uh, flea markets or um, antique stores or online. Of course, there's a big market for this type of thing on eBay and Etsy and all sorts of things. So anyway, Pyrex is um, it is a glassware and I can only speak from my personal experience. There are a few things that appeal to me about Pyrex. One of them is functionality in that uh, Pyrex you can put in the refrigerator, it can take the cold, um, you, it can go in the oven, it's oven proof, so that's really useful. Um, and the other thing that I like about the vintage pieces, not so much the newer stuff, which I often wonder why, but um, the vintage pieces, the lids on the dishes and casseroles, um, if, if they were made with a lid, are glass. And so you're not, you're being earth friendly and not using plastic wrap or um, plastic containers. It's um, glass which is a little bit more environmentally friendly and all that sort of thing. So that's one thing that I really like. The other thing is that the vintage stuff, the patterns and the colors, they're just fun. Um, and I like retro stuff, so that works too. Um, so let me move this out of the way. Um, I bet most people have a few pieces of Pyrex in their kitchen, in their collection. Most people have a Pyrex measuring cup. This one is a two cup, so it's a little bit larger, but um, really common. Most people's homes that I've visited, um, they have one of those. And then the other thing that they probably have is um, a 13 by nine glass casserole dish. This one is Pyrex and um, it's newer. It's only about, mm, I think this one was six or seven years ago. Um, it was limited edition and it's got kind of the blue swirl, which is really pretty. I also have this in a square eight by eight um, dish. And I also have the pie plate, the deep dish pie plate that matches in the same design, the same color. And these three pieces also have blue lids. They are plastic, so obviously you can't put those in the oven, but um, I like these a lot. I got these from my friend Kathy, um, but I have, gosh, I don't know, it probably at least a dozen 13 by nine Pyrex dishes. This is sort of your, your basic design with the little lip handle um, and clear. I have several of these. I have some in other colors. This one 
isn't super vintage, but it is older. It's the, this was popular in the 80s, this sort of smoky brown amethyst, whatever. Funny story about this, we were trying to downsize some of the collection when we moved the first time, um, I don't know, eight years ago or so. And uh, we gave this one to my friend Kathy and then um, she ended up gifting it back to me. Um, but anyway, so we used that one all the time. But I've got several 13 by nine. And that's an item that a lot of people have as well. Then um, the next thing I will talk about is tableware. And it was, um, Pyrex did not produce um, tableware for the whole run um, of its vintage lifespan. It was only a couple of decades, and a lot of the things were only produced for a limited time. But it would be things like this. I love this pattern. Um, this is an eight inch plate. To me, it's sort of a, more of a lunch, luncheon size. Um, but I have two of these little bowls that are the same design that coordinate with it. Um, and then I also have, these are older. So the, the pattern stuff is more like 1950s through, um, through the mid eighties is when they did some of the designs. The things that are in the stripe or the color, uh, the, the solid color, um, those tend to be older, um, but I have two of these um, side bowls in the pink, very popular in the 50s, and then the sort of the lime green, which is another popular color. I only have one of those uh, in that size. And then, this is actually not um, Pyrex, but it is uh, Corelware, also pretty popular. And but the design on this is the the Crazy Daisy, which was popular years back. Um, that's actually not the original name of it, but people tend to refer to that pattern as Crazy Daisy now. Um, but Corel. Um, falls under the umbrella of Pyrex. It's all made by Corning. There's also Corning Ware, which is a, another line of dishes and pans and, and things. But Pyrex um, is by Corning, and they started producing items around 1908. Um, and it was in the 1930s that they started producing some of these pieces that we see more today. Um, if you find a Pyrex item that does not have the stamp on the bottom, <clears throat> sort of embossed if you will, with the Pyrex name and some other stuff, then those are the older ones that were produced in the 30s and early 40s. The patterns, like I mentioned, that's more 1950s through the 80s is when they did some of those, but I'm going to slide these over. Oh, and then as far as tableware, I love these. I have two of these, one in each color, the yellow and the red. The, this design was mostly produced um, in the red and the yellow. I think there is a blue out there, but that one is more rare. Um, I also have the larger two-quart casserole that matches this, and it has the lid. Um, that one I purchased at an antique store that I found, and it was a little more expensive, but I do love that one. Um, so that's some of the tableware. And then um, this may be blasphemous to some of you, or maybe not, but this is actually not Pyrex. This is, um, I think it's, yes, Fire King, which is sort of a rival brand. I do have a couple of pieces of Fire King. Um, this is the milk glass. I don't have a lot of info on what the names of those patterns were, but um, this is very similar to what you would see in Pyrex stuff. 
um, as far as tableware in a cup and saucer. Um, Pyrex also did uh, mugs that did not have a saucer, uh, uh, glass coffee mugs. So, but it's pretty. I like that. Um, what was the other? There was another. Here it is. So this one, I actually don't know what brand this is because it doesn't say. It does say that it's oven proof, but um, this is not Pyrex. I don't know if you can see that design. It's kind of pretty, sort of a green floral botanical thing. Uh, but this is an eight inch, um, or is it nine? Does it say? No, we don't know. I think, I think this is nine inch um, cake pan. Or sometimes I do like cinnamon rolls in here, but I don't have a lid for this one. I actually don't know if this, whoever made this, if they produce a lid to go with it. Um, oh, and then I forgot to show you this as far as tableware. So this is actually considered a platter, but this is Pyrex. It's got the flamingo pink stripe, um, but I love this. I've only got the one. So if you see if you see any more of these pieces out and about, um, give me a holler or get me a Christmas present. <laughs> um, but I wanted to talk for a second about some of the newer Pyrex, which a lot of you are familiar with. Like this is a newer piece, um, clear, and um, it's great. I, I like the lid, but again, it's plastic, so in my opinion, not quite as useful because you can't, oftentimes when you bake things in the oven, you have to cover them, um, and obviously you cannot put a plastic lid in the oven. Well, you can, but it's not gonna end well for your experience. Um, I have a set of these in different sizes with the blue lid, so that's another example. This is a newer one that I just got from my friend April. This is the 13 by nine, but it's in the deep, which is really good for lasagna or things that may potentially um, bubble over and you don't want it to make a mess. So I love that. Um, I do have some pie plates. Um, this is a Pyrex pie plate and this is the nine inch. Um, it is clean, even though it might look it's not clean, but it's well used. Um, I use this one all the time. I love that. This is an older one. This is in the Flamingo Pink. And that is also a nine inch pie plate. Um, this is nine and a half. Um, and it's got the, the scalloped edge with the little handles. Um, this is really good. I use this one for like when I make quiche and stuff. I will say that most of these pieces I do use, they don't just sit on the shelf. Um, I might not use them every single day, but I, I do use them because I figure, why not? Don't just look at them, use them. Um, this is another older one. This is, in, again, in that sort of lime green color, um, but this is the, the, the round version of the eight inch. Certain patterns, certain colors are more valuable than others, and particularly if they are in good condition and they have the lid that goes with it, then they're, they tend to be um, worth a lot more. So for instance, um, the we can talk about the mixing bowls next. So the complete set of mixing bowls, really popular, you see these um, a lot of places as in like it's not super hard to find the set but they would come in a set like this a set of four um, and I am missing the the smallest bowl which would be in a bright blue and actually um, if you see anything in the blue out and about let me know because that's something that I don't really have in my collection I don't have any of the blue pieces but it's sort of a it's not a dark, like, navy blue. It's sort of a primary blue. Um, but the blue one would be in this size. Just this is the yellow color. Um, these, if you buy them as a set, 
and they're in relatively good condition, it'll run you between $70 and $80. The reason why I don't have the blue one is because over the years I've collected my own set of four and I purchased them separately because I got a good deal on them, on each one in their own time. So um, that's why. But um, this is an older set. I do have that same size larger mixing bowl in the red. I do love this one. You don't see this one as much um, as you do the yellow set, or the, the yellow bigger one. Um, <clears throat> this pattern is called Rainbow Stripes. Um, and let's see, the stripe pattern was produced for a while, between 1965 and 1987. It also came in yellow and um, they did like a tannish brown. That one was the least popular. Um, and what was the other color? There was another one. Maybe the blue? This one is pink. It is a little faded, but I do, I love this size. It's good for a lot of things. And I have the yellow, as you saw. Um, some of the other popular, I'm sort of dotting all around here, so I hope that you're able to, to stick with me as I change course, but some of the most popular patterns that I bet you're familiar with are gooseberry, which I don't have any gooseberry print, but um, it is sort of the, it's this color pink, maybe a touch darker. This is another mixing bowl. Um, this one was on the pricier side because you don't see the pink as often, and also um, the pink items are worth a little more because um, they're harder to find. Also, this one is in pretty good shape. There aren't really any scratches or whatnot. Um, but gooseberry print, some of these, maybe if I can find a, a picture of the pattern, I'll throw it up here in the video so that you can see. But um, that one is really popular. The square flowers pattern which came either um, white with green print or green with white print. I actually have a piece in Square Flowers. Let me show you. This is Square Flowers. Hopefully you can see that on the camera, but pretty. And I actually have the lid. It's a flat lid that goes with this. Um, it's nice. Um, another one is um, spring blossom green which oh i do have one there is spring blossom and i do have the lid for that one as well which is nice um the butterfly gold and it came in two versions the older one and then they revised the design and it's similar but a little different um that one was 1972 to 1981. I actually have a piece that's in the original. This is the um, butterfly gold. There's There are little butterflies on the end. The newer design is similar, but it has like wisps of, I don't know, a flower stem or I don't know what it is, but um, so it's similar. That one's popular. Um, Another really popular one is the Amish butter print, and that is either white with blue or blue with white, and it's got the two, the male and female farmer facing each other with some other um, symbols on it. I actually would like some Amish butter print. I just, and I, you see it from time to time, but I haven't, um, it's just not something that I've purchased yet. Um, because that's another thing that is a consideration for me is all of this stuff you can find online. You can find it on eBay, Etsy, what have you. Um, but that kind of takes the fun out of it, I think. If you just go directly to it, you click buy and you pay for it and they send it to you. Um, to me, part of the fun of it is finding these items um, sometimes in unexpected places or... Um, at a flea market or whatever. The story about that is uh, another piece in my Pyrex collection that I really want um, is a lasagna pan and it's a 13 by 9 
but it's a little shallower. I'm not really sure why they call it a lasagna pan because I don't know too many lasagnas that you would want to make in there that would fit. But um, maybe if you only had a few layers, but it would be good for things like brownies or um, bars. If you're making like a cookie bar, it would be great in there. I had one in sort of the the verde, the, the green, um, not this like spring green, it's more uh, like this, like this color. <clears throat> I had a lasagna pan in that color, but it uh, broke. Unfortunately, it was broken by my husband. He was very apologetic. But um, now those, like I, I would really like one in maybe the snowflake pattern, the blue with the white snowflakes, but something like that usually runs around a hundred dollars so I want to find one if I'm gonna pay that much I want to find a pattern that I really like and the colors that I like that's in decent condition I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on one that's beat up but this style by the way this style mixing bowl is called Cinderella bowl that has the sort of spout handle which I find really handy but um, I have a few of these I have this one and incidentally, this was mentioned in the video I did a month or two ago where I made soda bread with my mom. She has this set. Um, it was given to them as a gift for their wedding 52 years ago, so it's at least that old. Um, and it was in a set of four. One of them has broken. I think she said the smallest one is broken. But um, you don't want to toss those things even if you're not interested in it if you have a relative or a friend or whatever who is downsizing or maybe um, they have passed away and you're going through some of their stuff don't just get rid of it because a complete set that's in decent condition you can fetch anywhere from 50 to probably 150 dollars for so don't just toss them out. But another item that I use all the time, weekly at the least, for my pizza dough um, is my red Cinderella bowl. And this was a great find. You don't see this um, size bowl in this color very often. Um, so it was worth the money that I paid for it. I think I got this in Spirit Lake, Iowa, at an antique store. Um, but this one made an appearance in my my most often used or favorite kitchen items and tools. That one was in there. This is a smaller Cinderella bowl. Um, this sort of orangish yellow color would most likely have been part of a set. This would have been in the daisy. Um, and I, I'll show you in a second. I have a piece that's part of the pink daisy, but it also came in the either the orange with white daisy pattern or the white with orange. Um, but this would have been in the four mixing bowl set and two of the bowls would have been in the pattern and then two would have been in the coordinating color. So I'm pretty sure that this would have been a part of that. I found this one in an antique store in Sioux City and I love this size, it's a happy color. I like it a lot. So. Um, but yeah, that's another example of the Cinderella style. Incidentally, things are more valuable, as I mentioned, with the lid. And then there are some pieces that were produced with the lid that had the, the coordinating pattern on the lid. It wasn't just clear or the milk glass. Um, those are much harder to find because, you know, we're all breaking our lids from time to time. So um, keep that in mind, too. Some other popular designs are uh, Friendship that has the two um, doves that are facing each other. Um, the sort of a red and orange pattern, that one you see a lot. Um, old Orchard that has the sort of the old school looking design of fruits and veggies. The snowflake pattern, which I mentioned to you in the lasagna pan that I'm someday gonna find and get. Um, and then Town and Country, which is sort of the, has like round circle medallion design. Um, so 
I mentioned the daisy. This this um, pink daisy. This one. This is a uh, two and a half quart casserole dish in the pink daisy with the lid. If this were in good or very good condition, it would probably go for around one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, it's not in perfect condition because, for one thing, I know. I can almost guarantee you that this is not the original lid that went with that. It does fit on there, but um, it's not perfect, so that's how you can know that it was not original. On the Pyrex website right now, today, um, they do sell, I think, round lids, glass lids in two sizes and then also a lid glass lid for a square pan um, but not all, of, all not all of the sizes and the items that they currently offer and like I said most often in the plastic but it is possible um, and sometimes you can go into a flea market or a store an antique store or whatnot and they will have like a stack of lids just take a look through there because um, if you know what you're looking for and when I go to a store like that, I always carry a little tape measure with me. And if you know the size, um, sometimes I've found lids that will fit on some items that I have that um, you can use for that. But so this one, it has a little, a couple of chips, like somebody took a bite out of it right there. Um, and it's not sharp, like I don't need to worry about cutting myself, but obviously that's not in perfect condition. So I would not be able to get $150 for this, but another one that I use all the time this is a two quart casserole dish in the round it does have the coordinating lid um, this color which is really popular in the 50s um, is harder to find so I'm not sure what the current price on this would be but um, it would be decent um, some other things that I have I have some in clear and this is Pyrex. It has the, this is the original lid, and you can tell because it matches, it's kind of a, the designs match. Um, but I have this in a couple different sizes, but I love these. And then, what else can I show you? Now this yellow, <laughs> this yellow dish, it has some food in it. I just came out of the refrigerator. I put some jello salad in there. So. Um, if that's what you if you're seeing that that's what's going on but this is one of the first things that Pyrex produced when they started doing the designs and colors and stuff this was called the refrigerator set and it came with two of these um, smaller rectangle red dishes this uh, flat rectangular one in the yellow and then the other piece which I don't have so if you see it out there, um, get it for me. In the blue, which would, would have been a, a longer rectangular, sort of the medium size, that they are stackable, that would fit on there like that. So um, love that. Let's see, what else have I not shown you? Oh, probably one of my most rare pieces is this vase. This is a glass vase. It is Pyrex. Um, probably early 60s, I think, is when this was made. But isn't that funky? Kind of looks like a beaker, and it's got that sort of retro 60s starburst design um, that you see oftentimes from that period. But that's pretty cool. I love that piece. <clears throat> we looked at that. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have... This is an 11 by 7, um, and this is older. It's not in mint condition. There are some a few little marks on it, but um, excellent piece. And this is in that also popular uh, sort of lime green-ish. This color and the that flamingo pink um, sort of, they were produced around the same time. And then of course I have the square. This is, does it say? Let's see if it says, is it eight by eight or nine by eight? Eight inch, it's an eight by eight. So I have those. Let's see, did I show you? Oh, I have 
I have a loaf pan. This one is a nine by four Pyrex loaf pan in yellow. So I like that one. I also have a newer one that is similar in size, but it has the, the cutout for the handle in clear, but also useful for when you're making um, zucchini bread and all of your quick breads, especially. Um, I do have these. And these were all purchased separately. Um, these two, well, these three, they're not super old, but they're not, uh, they don't produce these anymore. So they're decently old, but a yellow, a plain yellow, a peach, and then this turquoise color. Um, and this is a great size. I love that size. I had uh, the same bowl as the turquoise, but in clear. Um, and I'll tell you what, you do have to be careful. <laughs> when we were living um, at Luke's condo, where we first lived, uh, or when we first got together, he had quartz countertops, and I was getting the bowl off the shelf, and it slipped out of my hand, and it fell, not super far, but far enough, it fell onto that quartz countertop, and it, I won't say that it just broke, um, it more than shattered, it exploded, it was like a, a gunshot, and the glass shards, I was okay, nobody got hurt. The glass shards sprayed everywhere. It was, it was nuts. But um, yeah, so be careful with your glassware. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh, I didn't show you this one. So this pattern, this came in a set. It was gifted to me. Um, this is the largest one, and then there were uh, there was a medium and a smaller one. Unfortunately. The smallest one did break, also broken by my husband, um, but they do have the matching lids that go with. This one is called um, Autumn Harvest, and my friend Kathy gave it to me. The reason why, she, the significance behind her gifting me the Autumn Harvest was that um, they started producing it in 1979. It debuted in 1979, which is um, my birthday, which is when I was born. So, kind of cool. Um, and this, it either was offered in another color or it had a redesign. Um, it might have been a different color, or maybe it was a different color when they redesigned it, but it was um, more of a brown, and then the, the wheat pattern was in a gold, I think. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, oh, and then they also produce things like this. This is a canister, and it's glass. It does have a plastic lid, but um, I love this one. I keep my brown sugar in here. It's in there right now, so um, yes, it is used. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, what do you think? Do you have any experience with Pyrex? Do you have any of these pieces? Do you have a Pyrex measuring cup? Um, what do you think? What's your favorite pattern? Um, let me know. Shoot us a comment in the comments below, or if you have a question um, that I might be able to answer, let us know. I'd be happy to take a look at your questions, or if you have a story or something you'd like to share, I bet we'd all like to hear it. Um, so leave that in the comments below. But that's just, a, this isn't every piece of Pyrex that I have, but it's a, a good portion of it. And it was kind of fun. I hope you had fun sharing with that with me today. Me sharing that with you today? No, I'm not sure what I just said, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, so in my notes, I'm just glancing down here. Some things that I forgot to mention. Um, probably one of the top three most coveted patterns um, that's pretty rare is called Lucky in Love and it is white with um, some little hearts and some like I don't know almost like blades of grass um, it's cute it's not my my favorite so I don't know that I would necessarily seek a piece in Lucky in Love out but um, the reason why some of them are worth more and are 
much harder to find is because back in the day, Pyrex would definitely do limited edition pieces or patterns that were only available for one year or even just one season or were attached to a particular promotional event. Like you, if you bought a new GE stove in 1963, then you got such and such casserole dish in that special pattern type thing. So um, there are several examples of that and those are harder to find, particularly with their lid and in good condition. Um, so that's kind of interesting too. Do I have any regrets about a, not making a purchase um, or making a purchase? Yes, the, the biggest one that comes to mind is a pattern called Moon Deco and it was produced for a very short time and if I can find a picture online I'll shoot it up here on the video so you can see but Moon Deco is a white with um, not concentric circles like uh, dots within each other a black and a red um, it's very mod 60s ish um, there was a store it was somewhere in Iowa. It might have been up at Okaboji, but it was a, a two-quart casserole. It had the original lid that matched the pattern. And I really liked it, but I didn't buy it because it was expensive. It, I want to say it was like $200 they were asking for it, um, which actually is a pretty good price in today's market for those hard to find vintage pieces so um, and I've never seen it again of course you can hunt it down you can find it if you search for it on Etsy or whatnot but um, like out in the wild I have not seen it since and so I do kind of kick myself I regret not getting that piece because it's really cool but someday I'm sure I'll see another one so we'll get that um, but yeah so I hope you had fun. I enjoyed sharing my collection and some stories with you. And like I said, shoot us a question or a comment down below. Like this video if you had fun chatting today. And yeah, I'll be back again soon with some more recipes. And then also at some point I'll share with you my Fiesta collection. That'll be fun as well. So at any rate, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.